In the late 80s, Delaware was terrorized by Stephen Brian Pinnell, the infamous Route 40 killer. His horrific crimes forever tarnished the tranquility of Route 40, leaving a chilling legacy. From 1987 to 1988, Delaware's peaceful Route 40 was marred by a series of gruesome murders. The man behind these atrocities was Stephen Brian Pinnell, known infamously as the Route 40 Killer. His reign of terror, marked by methodical planning and savage brutality, left a deep scar on the community and claimed a grim place in the annals of American criminal history. We explore deeper into the life and crimes of one of the most notorious serial killers of the late 20th century. Early Life Born on November 22, 1957, Stephen Brian Pinnell was brought up in an environment that appeared unmarred by the early traumas often associated with serial killers. His early life seemed to mirror the typical American upbringing. An accomplished electrician, Pinnell was a seemingly ordinary member of the Delaware community, living a suburban life with his wife and their two children. However, beneath the facade of his unremarkable existence lurked a chilling alter ego. Pinnell, the friendly neighborhood electrician, led a double life as a cold-blooded murderer, a reality that would soon come to light and shock his community to its core. The Crimes and Victims From 1987 to 1988, the bodies of several women began appearing along the Route 40 corridor. All victims shared two things in common. They were all sex workers, and they were all brutally tortured before their deaths. The first victim discovered was Shirley Ellis. Her body was found on November 29, 1987, bearing signs of severe torture. The body of Catherine DeMauro was discovered shortly after in December. In 1988, Margaret Lynn Finner and Michelle Gordon met similar fates. These horrifying murders were not merely acts of violence, they were ritualistic in nature, demonstrating the killer's sadistic pleasure in inflicting pain. Pennell's modus operandi was chillingly consistent. He would use his blue van to lure invulnerable women, subject them to unspeakable torture, kill them, and then dispose of their bodies along the highway. His crimes were marked by a terrifying level of premeditation, calculation, and utter disregard for human life. Investigation and Capture In the late 1980s, Route 40 in Delaware had become the haunting stage for a series of ghastly murders. As the body count rose, investigators found themselves wrestling with a horrifying serial killer case that was rapidly consuming the peaceful community. An intense manhunt ensued, fueled by determination and the pressure of time. Utilizing the advanced forensic techniques of the era, the investigators undertook a meticulous analysis of the gruesome crime scenes. A significant breakthrough came with the discovery of tiny fibers found on the bodies of the victims. These fibers, innocuous on their own, turned out to be pivotal evidence when they were identified as matching materials from Stephen Brian Pennell's workplace and his blue van. This crucial discovery created a tangible connection to Pennell, steering the investigators towards him. Yet, it was the harrowing testimony of a survivor that delivered the decisive blow. This brave woman had narrowly escaped Pennell's clutches, and her detailed description of her attacker matched him. This victim's narrative added a powerful human element to the physical evidence already stacked against Pennell. Acting on the convergence of this compelling evidence, authorities arrested Pennell in November 1988. His capture marked the end of a blood-curdling chapter of violence that had gripped the Delaware community for over a year. This successful capture of the Route 40 killer underscored the invaluable role of forensic science and unwavering investigative resolve in bringing even the most heinous criminals to justice. Trial and Conviction as the death toll mounted along Route 40, investigators found themselves in a race against time. They worked tirelessly, using cutting-edge forensic techniques to identify the killer. A crucial breakthrough came in the form of fibers discovered on the victims' bodies, which matched materials from Stephen Brian Pennell's work environment and his blue van. This evidence offered a tangible link to Pennell, pointing investigators towards him. Yet, 
What sealed Pimmel's fate was the brave testimony of a woman who had narrowly escaped his clutches. Her vivid description of her assailant corresponded with Pinnell, adding weight to the forensic evidence. The culmination of these factors led to Pennell's arrest in November 1988. This marked the end of a harrowing chapter of brutality that had held the community under siege, showcasing the power of forensic science and the resilience of investigators in their pursuit of justice of his crimes. The Final Chapter the story of Stephen Brian Pinnell took a peculiar turn after his conviction. Despite maintaining his innocence, Pinnell chose not to challenge the judgment. Instead, he asked to be given the death penalty, a chilling request in the face of his grim deeds. This move was interpreted by many as an admission of guilt, cloaked in the assertion of innocence. Delaware agreed to his request, marking a solemn moment in the state's history. Pinnell was executed by lethal injection on March 14, 1992, the first person to be executed in Delaware since 1946. His death did not provide closure but instead left an unsettling aftermath. The stark reality of his horrific crimes lingered, raising unsettling questions about the presence of evil in the everyday. Pinnell's life and death continue to serve as a grim reminder of the depths of human depravity. Legacy and Conclusion The case of Stephen Brian Pinnell, the Route 40 killer, remains a chilling narrative of the depths to which human depravity can sink. His double life serves as a stark reminder that evil can lurk behind the most mundane facades. His grim legacy continues to cast a long, ominous shadow over Delaware's criminal history, reminding us that even the most serene landscapes can bear witness to horrific crimes. Even after his death, the exact number of Pennell's victims remains uncertain. The murders he was convicted for were based on the evidence available, but some speculate there could have been more victims, their stories untold and their fates unknown. The Route 40 killings will remain forever etched in Delaware's memory, a brutal chapter that serves as a warning of the potential darkness hiding beneath the surface of seemingly ordinary individuals. It reminds us of the importance of justice for victims, the value of advancements in forensic science, and the need for constant vigilance to protect the most vulnerable among us. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe. See you in next video.